good morning students in our last class we have studied the development so a development is a taken place in animals the development is a taken place by two process one is called as a direct and the second one is called as indirect direct means if they can able to produce young ones directly if they produce young ones directly we can call it as a direct development and if it is undergoing into several larval stages to produce from a, from a zygote to the larval that means to pro, from zygote to the adult it going into several uh, larval stages are taken place then we can take and we can call that as indirect uh, development here indirect development uh, we can use the word as uh, the metamorphosis what is metamorphosis means uh, here producing of uh, the young ones are produced from adult that means from uh, through several embryonic stages or through several larval stages here not embryonic through several larval stages if they can able to produce adult adult organism then we can call that as the we can call them as the metamorphosis so that we have discussed in the last class and also there are other characters are presenting uh, such as uh, here uh, in animals the reserved food material is uh, presenting uh, in the form of a glycogen or a, a fat the reserved food materials and also it consists of uh, the centrioles are also presenting in centrioles uh, in plants the centrioles are absenting but in animals uh, the centrioles are uh, uh, presenting will be taken place so these are the uh, silent features where we have taken place uh, we have studied in the an animals and also we have uh, now we are going uh, uh, next uh, that is a uh, general characteristic features of animals uh, based on their uh, a classification that means there are some other uh, some other characters also presenting in uh, animals where they are the a uh, characteristic a uh, features of the a uh, kingdom uh, and animalia are for the and animals so in that the uh, first one that is general features of animals based on their uh, a classification so here in the first one that is uh, according to their mode of living that means how they are living here according to their mode of living here uh, these are uh, classified into a uh, six size six uh, uh, types one is called as a solitary second one is called as gregarious and the third one is called as a colonial colonial co colonial forms and the fourth one you can call as a parasites and the fifth one you can call as a sedentary or otherwise we can use the word as a sessile organisms or sessile animals and last one is a motile motile organisms or motile animals so here what is a solitary means if the organisms are found in only alone alone means single individual species are presenting if the organism are presenting individually they are living then such type of process we can call as a, a solitary and gregarious gregarious means living in groups if the organisms are forming into a groups into a several groups if they are forming then we can take and place as a, a gregarious gregarious means organisms which are present in a, a groups then we can call them as a, a gregarious forms next second or third one colonial that means if they are living in a group that is in a solonial hives or in the form of a colonies a group of a, a group of individuals which are presenting we can call them as a colony colony means a, a group of people are presenting so we can call them as a, a colony so here they, in these animals they live together in the form of a groups or gregarious forms here we can call them as a <coughs> we can call them as a, the colonial forms next coming to the uh, parasites already we need to depending uh, already we have studied what are parasites means here uh, yeah, the organisms which are depending on the host organism for their food and uh, production for the food and uh, production they are depending on the other organisms or other animals are the they are depending on the host organisms uh, then such type of organisms are called as a uh, 
the parasites and uh, sedentary or sessile sessile means uh, if they are fixed at one position that means if the organisms are fixed to the a substratum a substratum means uh, here uh, it may be taken place a rock or otherwise it may be any other uh, structure which helpful for fixing uh, the plant the animal at one position like a plants how they are fixed at one position here the animals also fixed at one position so such organisms are called as the sessile organisms or we can use the word as the sedentary sedentary means they are fixed at a one position if the organisms are fixed at a fixed to the a substratum fixed to the a substratum substratum means here it may be a rock or animal or any other structure which gives a supporting for the animals so, so they are called as a, the substratum and uh, lastly the motile motile means uh, the organisms which can able to move from uh, one place to the uh, another uh, place so here all animals already we have discussed all animals are amotile why means here they having animal nature is amotile means they can able they having a capability of the movement from one place to the another place so such type of organisms are called as amotile organisms so here organisms will move from one place to the another place so will having a different a locomotory organs are presenting having a, a different uh, a locomotory organs are presenting with the help of locomotory organs uh, they can able they having a capability of uh, the movement of organism from one place to the another uh, places so these are the uh, various types of organisms uh, where they are based uh, on the presence of their uh, a mode of uh, a living according to the mode of living uh, these animals are classified into a uh, six types uh, a solitary they are found in alone gregarious they are present in groups colonial they are present in the form of uh, colonies and the uh, parasites which depends on other organism for food and production and uh, sedentary or sessile they are fixed at one position that is the organisms animal fixed to the uh, substratum are at one position they are fixed uh, and the last one is motile which having capability of movement of from one place to the another place so these are the six type of organisms where we can use the word that means in animals we will use the words only the is they are solitary or gregarious or colonial uh, parasites and uh, sedentary and motile only but we cannot use these technical words that means uh, these are the a biological or a geological terms which we will use while going into the a future topics that means while going the characteristics and features of the an animals we are phylums we will use these words only we will you are using so you have to know these type of the technical terms so in next we will discuss that one is next coming to this the some uh, technical uh, terms of an animal body is uh, that is uh, first one is oral second one is uh, a oral surface and the third one is anterior and the fourth one is a posterior and the fifth one is a cephalic and the sixth one is a caudal and the seventh one is a proximal and the eighth one is a distal and the ninth one is a dorsal surface and ventral last one is a, the tenth one is a, the ventral uh, uh, surfaces so these are the words where you will use uh, in uh, an uh, an animals that is uh, a oral surface what is oral means uh, the end towards the mouth where the mouth is uh, presenting uh, that means the end uh, the end towards the mouth region uh, we can call as uh, the oral uh, uh, surface the end towards the uh, mouth uh, we can call as uh, mouth means uh, by ಯಾವ ಸೈಡ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಇರ್ತದ ಆ ಸೈಡ್ ನಾವೇನಂತ ಕರಿತಿದ್ದ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಓರಲ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಅಂತಾನು ಕರಿತಿದ್ದೆ ನಾವು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಎಬೋರಲ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಅಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಎ ಮೌತ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಅಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಮೌತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆನ
the ns region yav if the that means it is a region where the end of the opposite to the mouth mouth means opposite to the mouth is ns region so opposite to the mouth and region we can called as an aboral surface next anterior 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 means the head region the head end that means where the head is presenting where the at the means the head part the head where it is presenting that part we can called as the anterior part and the posterior part means where the tail the tail end is presenting where the tail end is presenting then we can call that as the posterior part the anterior part means the anterior means it is the head region where the head is presenting that part so here this is the head this is the part where we can call as anterior and the tail where we are having the terminal part that is the that one opposite to the head region is the a tail region that is we can call as the posterior part next cephalic cephalic means the head here cephalic means head that means towards the head region we can call as the head region that is called as a cephalic region and a caudal region caudal region means towards the a tail region we can call as the a caudal region and next proximal proximal means towards the point of attachment of the towards the a point of attachment towards the a point of attachment of the a structure on the a body that means towards the point where it is presenting so such part we can call as a proximal part and a distal part means away from the point of at an attachments away from the a point of an attachment of the structure of the on the body we can call as a we can call that as a, a distal part that means away towards the point of attachment we can call as a proximal part and away from the attachment of the body of the structure of the body we can call as a, a distal part that means proximal means towards the attachment of the towards the attachment of the structure of the body we can called as a, a proximal and a distal means away from the point of attachment of the structure of the a body we can called as a, a distal next a dorsal surface dorsal means the back of an animal usually the upper surface so if you seen ourselves only human beings if you seen the part which is presenting towards we are called that means the back part this is the a back part where we can called as a dorsal surface it is a, a back part which is presenting we can call as that means back of an animal usually the upper surface it is we can call that as a, an upper surface where it is a, a dorsal surface the back of the body we can call where it is presenting we can call as a, the dorsal a surface that means uh, here uh, ventral surface means the belly that means belly means uh, stomach where the stomach is the region where it is the stomach is uh, presenting uh, that region that part we can call as uh, the ventral a uh, part that means this part uh, we can call as uh, a ventral a uh, part so here uh, ventral means dorsal means the back of the body and uh, the belly means belly means the front part which is presenting uh, we can call this as uh, the ventral uh, surfaces so these are these uh, that is uh, these are the some uh, technical terms which are present in uh, an animal that is oral aboral anterior uh, posterior cephalic and caudal proximal a uh, distal uh, dorsal and uh, ventral that means these are a pair of words uh, where they are presenting which shows uh, one is uh, showing to the anterior part and there is head regions and uh, are otherwise the front part and other one will shows the back parts uh, where opposite to the another part uh, that are uh, the words where we will use uh, a oral aboral anterior posterior cephalic caudal proximal a uh, distal and dorsal and uh, the ventral so that are remaining there are so many are there that means in remaining are there what that are what are that now we'll discuss
now coming to this uh, next one a superior and inferior a pectoral as well as uh, the pelvic uh, region so here superior superior means the above the point of reference the above the a point of reference uh, we can call as uh, the su superior and inferior below the point of a reference uh, we can call as uh, the inferior and uh, the pectoral the pectoral regions pectoral region means uh, the chest region it is the region where the chest is uh, presenting that means the chest means uh, the chest region which is this is the part where we can call as uh, the chest the chest region we can call as uh, the a uh, pectoral region or otherwise uh, we can use the word as uh, it is the the limbs that means where the limbs are presenting the limbs means uh, the four limbs are presenting the that means here see the area supported by the uh, four limbs four limbs means uh, the hands for example we have taken ourselves uh, the hands where they are attached in the chest region uh, the hands are attachment is taken place uh, these are called as four arms or four uh, limbs so where the four limbs are presenting this region we can called as or the chest region which is presenting or the area which supports the four four limbs are presenting so that region we can called as the pectoral regions that means it is a region in showing the chest region or the where the limbs are present the limbs means the four limbs sorry now the four limbs are presenting where the four limbs are presenting the four limbs means here in humans we can call them as hands where the hands are attached they are called as the four limbs so here animals where the limbs that means the four limbs are attachment is taken place such region we can called as the pectoral region and the pelvic region pelvic region means the hip region hip region means where the thighs are presenting the thighs region we can called as the pectoral region sorry we can call that as a pelvic region where the thighs are presenting are that region are hip region where hip is presenting that region we can call as the pelvic region or the area supporting the hind limbs hind limbs means where the legs are attached where the legs are attached then such region we can call as the pelvic region so these are the various the the technical terms that is oral aboral and posterior anterior posterior as well as superior inferior pectoral and pectoral and pelvic cephalic and caudal so these are the a pair of the words where they represents one is showing of the regions towards the upper that means here one is anterior and a posterior that means anterior means the upper part we can call where the head is presenting you can call as the anterior posterior means opposite is the ns where that is presenting we can call that means one is showing opposite that means the two words which are presenting they are showing the opposite to the an organisms these are the technical words where we we'll use in a biological that is in an animal that is in geology we we'll use the word these only the anterior or posterior or caudal or the pectoral that is the cephalic or caudal regions or the pectoral or the pelvic regions will represents where we are have you will have to learn or we have to by heart these technical terms why means why you have to by heart these technical words means here we will use these words only not the normal words will not be used so here we have to compulsory you have to by heart these technical words and also you have to return these words in the book also why means here these are very important technical terms which represents in animals why means in animals the technical words are very difficult in zoology basically in zoology the words are very difficult in structure we we'll use the word technical words biological words only we we'll use but not the normal words so that you have to by heart these type of words next coming to the second one the levels of organization 
it shows that the second one is uh, the levels of uh, the levels of organization the second one is uh, the levels of organization so what is organization means uh, the grading of organisms the grading of organisms uh, we can call as a uh, the organization where uh, what is organization means grade grading of uh, grading of uh, animals grading of animals uh, here grading of animals uh, we can called as uh, is called as uh, is called as uh, the organization organization so here due to the presence of organization we are using the word as uh, the organisms why we are using organisms means uh, here will having a, a different type of uh, a grade are present in the grades are presenting how we are studying in education how the grades are presenting first standard second standard third standard fourth fifth like this here what are the stages are taken place in education likewise in our animals also will having a, a grades are presenting these grades will helpful for uh, the identification of uh, the organisms so here uh, due to the presence of the an organization due to the uh, presence of the an organization here we are call them as uh, the animals why you are called as organisms or uh, why you can use the word as organisms 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 means uh, here will having the grade of organization is presenting here will having the grade of organization is presenting due to the presence of a grade of organization here we can call them as the organization we can call them as the organisms so here there are a five grades of organizations are presenting so what are that five grades of organization means first one we can call as the protoplasmic 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 level of organization protoplasmic level of organization and the second one is the cellular grade of the cellular level of the cellular level of organization the cellular level of organization and a third one is the tissue level of tissue level of organization and fourth one is the organ grade of organ level grade of organization and last one is the organ system the organ system the organ system the level of the organization so these are the FIU grades of organization that is a, a protoplasmic grade of organization and uh, the cellular grade of organization and a tissue grade of organization and organ system grade of organization and the last one is uh, the organ system grade of that means organs organ level of organization and organ system grade level of uh, the organizations where these are presenting uh, in uh, an uh, animals so what are that now we'll discuss the one by one so coming to the first one that is the protoplasmic the protoplasmic the protoplasmic level of organization so here protoplasmic grade means here the protoplasm is presenting here the protoplasm the protoplasm protoplasm will performs will performs 
all the functions all the functions functions in an organism so in an organism so here the cells are not be presenting but here will shows a, a protoplasm will perform that means protoplasm is the main component present in this uh, where it shows uh, the perf- the protoplasm will performs uh, all vital activities all vital functions which are taken place in the a body that are taken place by the a protoplasm only so here this type of grade or level we can call as uh, the protoplasmic uh, level of uh, an organization so this uh, protoplasmic grade of organization we can see in the uh, protozoans protozoans like amoeba spermatium in this we can see the uh, protoplasmic uh, grade of uh, organization where here uh, the cells are not be presenting uh, but here uh, the protoplasm will performs uh, all the vital activities so here we can call as uh, the protoplasmic uh, a grade of uh, an organization and second coming to the second one uh, the cellular grade of uh, the cellular uh, cellular level of uh, the cellular level of uh, organization the cellular level of uh, an organization so here what is cellular grade of uh, that cellular level of organization or cellular grade of organization means uh, here the animals animal body is formed by loosely arranged cell aggregation that means animals are formed that means animals are animals are formed formed by formed by loosely loosely arranged loosely arranged the cell aggregation the cell the cell aggregation aggregation so here the cells are presenting that means here the cells which are presenting the cell aggregation is taken place but the cells shows but the cells will shows the coordination to form that means here uh, the cells will performs uh, the cells will performs uh, the cells will performs uh, all vital functions vital functions uh, of an uh, of uh, vital functions in an uh, organism in an uh, organism and here tissues are not be formed and uh, it tissues are not formed tissues are not formed so such type of grade that means here cells only will presenting the cells are aggregated the cells which are presenting uh, these all the cells combined cannot be able to form a tissues uh, but the cells which are presenting will performs uh, the all vital activities uh, in an cell so such type of uh, level of organization we can call as uh, the uh, cellular level of uh, an organization so here a uh, cellular level of organization we can see in uh, a peripherence in a uh, peripherence uh, or we can see the sponges in the sponges we can see the a uh, cellular level of uh, an organization is a uh, taken uh, a place where here uh, the cells are presenting but all the cells uh, are not formed into the a uh, tissues by means here uh, the cells cannot combine together to form tissues uh, so all the functions all the cells which are presenting uh, that cells only will uh, divides uh, will be helpful for uh, the division of a uh, labor is uh, taken place division of labor is uh, taken place at uh, a cell level only that means division of labor division of uh, division of labor is uh, taken place is uh, taken place by the uh, cell only so here we can call this as uh, the cellular level or of the cellular level of uh, an 
organization. That means all the cells which are presenting, they are not be formed into tissues, but cells will perform all the functions of an organism. So here division of labor is taken place in the cellular level only. So that this level of organization we can call as the cellular level of an organization. Next, third one. Third one is tissue level grade of organization. The tissue level, the tissue level of an organization. Tissue level of an organization. So here a tissue level means all the cells are combined together. All cells, all cells are combined. All cells are combined together together to form to form a, a tissues all cells are combined together to form tissues here the tissues will perform all the vital and activities so here the tissues tissues will perform and the tissues tissues perform Tissues performs all the vital activities. Vital, vital activities. Vital activities of an organism of an organism. So this type of grade or level we can call as a, a tissue level of a grade of organization. Means all the cells are combined together to form tissues. These tissues will perform these specific functions are taken place by the specific tissues only. So here a tissues or formation has taken place. So in our body, there are four fundamental tissues are presenting. That four fundamental tissues are present, which are presenting in this level only will be a formations are taken place. So that here, this level of organization, we can call as the tissue level of an organization. So what are that we'll discuss now. So here, a tissue level, a grade of, that is tissue level of uh, an organization. So here uh, in these, uh, the tissues are forming. So here there are uh, in our body, there are in animals, in uh, animals, uh, animals will having, uh, animals having, uh, animals having uh, the four fundamental, four fundamental, four fundamental tissues having a four fundamental tissues. What are that fundamental tissues means? Uh, anyone can know that all? Uh, that means there are four fundamental uh, uh, tissues are presenting. Uh, one is uh, we can call it as uh, an uh, epithelial, uh, epithelial tissues, epithelial tissues. And the uh, second one is uh, the muscular tissues. Sorry, the second one is uh, Epithelial tissue, second one is a connective tissues, a connective tissue, connective tissue, and a third one is the muscular tissues, a muscular tissue, and the last one is the nervous tissues, nervous tissues. So these are the a four fundamental uh, tissues uh, which are uh, presenting uh, in the an animals. So here uh, from these level, that means from tissue level of uh, an organization, uh, here having uh, a four fundamental tissues are presenting, uh, these tissues will perform uh, the all uh, vital activities in an uh, organisms where here all the cells are combined together to form uh, a tissues that tissues will performing the functions uh, so this type of grade of organization uh, we can call as uh, the tissue level of organization uh, that is uh, epithelial tissues the connective tissues the muscular tissues and also the nervous uh, tissues are presenting uh, so this is uh, where the phylum 
this is the first phylum this is the this is the first phylum where we'll having example if you seen here an example we can see here coelenterates coelenterates or otherwise we can call them as anaidarians and also the second one is the tinophores tino force so these are the two phylums where will having a, a tissue level a grade of uh, an organization is uh, presenting this is the that means silent traits is the arnidarians are silent traits are anidarians uh, here this is the a first phylum where here it consists of uh, the four fundamental uh, tissues are presenting uh, that uh, tissues are epithelial a connective a muscular as well as uh, the nervous tissues are presenting uh, so it is a first phylum uh, where consisting of uh, a four fundamental uh, tissues so this type of grade of organization uh, is called as uh, the tissue level of uh, an organization next coming to the fourth one that is uh, the organ level grade of organization organ organ level of organ level of organization organ level of an organization so here what is this organ level of organization means here all the tissues all the tissues all tissues are are combined together all tissues are combined together combined together to form to form organs to form an organs organs will performs organs 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 will performs will performs all vital vital activities vital activities in an organism in an organism so this type of grade that means here all tissues are combined together to form an organs organs will performs the specific a uh, function that means all perform all organs which are present in the body if an a uh, body of an organism that organs will performs uh, all a uh, vital activities are all, uh, all functions are carried by the an uh, organs only so this type of grade of uh, an organization is called as uh, the organ level of uh, an uh, organi it is called as uh, Uh, an organization that is uh, a tissue that is organ level of uh, organization where this organ level of organization uh, we can see in the we can see in this uh, aski helminthes and uh, a platy helminthes we can see in the platy helminthes platy helminthes and uh, aski helminthes aski helminthes so we are will having these two phylums uh, where will having uh, the organ level uh, a grade of uh, an organization is uh, presenting uh, that is all organs uh, will performs uh, the functions all uh, functions are performed uh, by this uh, where all organs will perform a specific uh, a functions uh, in an uh, organisms uh, so here all perform all organs will performs uh, the specific uh, functions uh, so that all the tissues are combined together to form organs organs will performs uh, the function so we can call as uh, the organ level of uh, an organizations next uh, coming to the uh, last one that is uh, so here uh, in this organ system level of organization we are we taken place only the an platy and helminthes sorry that is uh, here will having only a platy helminthes will be taken place uh, that example of uh, the organs organ level of organization and uh, if you taken place a fifth one 
the fifth one is uh, organ system organ system organ system level of uh, level of organization organ system uh, level of uh, an organization is a uh, taken place so here in organ system here all organs are combined together to form organ system all organs uh, organs are combined together combined together together to form to form organ system to form organ system and and it performs it or it means organ system will will performs will performs all vital all vital activities vital activities of an organism of an organism so this type of grade of level we can call as the organ level of an organization that means organs are combined together to form an organ system so here various type of systems are presenting such as the digestive system the respiratory system the nervous system the circulatory system the excretory system and also here an endocrine system so here will having the various systems are presenting these systems the admin organ systems will performs the specific functions in an organisms so such type of level of organization is called as the organ level of an organization we can call that as uh, the different level of uh, an organizations uh, example uh, here we can take a place uh, from uh, aski helminthes aski aski helminthes from aski helminthes to cordates here uh, including a uh, humans also will having uh, in cordates means species amphibians reptiles apes and mammals including uh, uh, humans uh, will consist of uh, the organ system uh, a grade of uh, an organization is a uh, uh, taken uh, a place so such type of system means all organs are combined together to form organ system organ system will performs all vital uh, and activities uh, so such type of uh, level of organization is called as uh, the organ system uh, a grade of uh, and organizations and here the basic that means here will having the organ system grade of organization will having will show some organisms will show us the tissue level as well as the higher organ system level also will be taken place so together we can call them as an enterozoans enterozoans for example if it taken place the or uh, digestive system only here uh, what are that uh, now we will uh, discuss so here uh, we'll having uh, for example if it taken place the digestive system for uh, example uh, for example uh, a digestive system uh, digestive a uh, system so here uh, digestive based on the, the digestive system uh, this it is uh, classified into two types uh, one is uh, an incomplete uh, incomplete uh, digestive system incomplete uh, digestive uh, system and uh, the second one is uh, the complete uh, the complete uh, digestive uh, system so here we'll having that means in this uh, organ system level of grade of organization organ system a grade of organization will having both a tissue level as well as a higher level of organizations are taken place so here this condition we can call them as an enterozoans enterozoa entero means intestine zoans means animals 
Zoa means uh, animals. Animals which consist of uh, the intestine based on the digestive system. These are classified into two types. One is incomplete and a complete. So here incomplete means uh, here having uh, the only one opening is uh, presenting. Uh, that means here uh, the taking of food materials. The taking of food materials. Taking of food materials we can call as uh, the ingestion, ingestion and uh, living of living of uh, living of food materials or uh, living of waste materials, the waste. Uh, materials well, uh, that is uh, the ingestion so here uh, the ingestion and digestion that is taking of food materials and uh, the living of food material that is uh, the waste materials are taken place uh, through the uh, one tube only if having only one opening uh, if the organism containing uh, only one opening uh, if you uh, organism contains if organism contains one opening one opening one opening such as such as taking off food materials or ingestion and leaving off food materials by the ingestion here if it is a taken place that means taking off food materials to the mouth only and also leaving off food materials that means waste materials are sent out through the uh, mouth only so this type of digestive system uh, we can call as uh, the an incomplete that means here only one opening is presenting that opening is helpful for both the ingestion as well as digestion ingestion means uh, taking off food materials into the body and uh, digestion means leaving off waste materials from the body that is ingestion and digestion sorry ingestion and uh, digestion is uh, taken place through the one opening uh, then such type of uh, digestive system are called as uh, an incomplete digestive uh, system this incomplete digestive to system we can see in uh, a plati helminthes you can see in uh, a plati helminthes plati helminthes so here uh, so we can call as complete uh, here uh, will having uh, the or if organism if organism contains if organism contains uh, two openings two openings such as uh, such as uh, the mouth and uh, the mouth and anus that means taking of food materials uh, is a uh, taken place through the uh, mouth region taking of food materials uh, that means ingestion ingestion is a uh, taken place taken place by mouth and uh, ejection ejection is uh, taken place by anus so we will having uh, uh, two openings are presenting if they having two openings that means taking of food materials is uh, taken place through the mouth and uh, leaving of the waste materials are taken place through the an anus so that is ingestion sorry ingestion and sorry ingestion and uh, ejection Ejection means leaving of waste materials is uh, taken place through the ananas and uh, taking is uh, ingestion is uh, taken place by the mouth. So this type of digestive system is called as uh, a complete uh, digestive uh, system. Uh, an example uh, here we can take place from uh, an uh, round worms. Round worms to the round worms to a cordates. Ron worms to that means from uh, an ASCII helminthes or ron worms to the and chordates uh, here will having uh, uh, two openings are presenting one opening is called as mouth taking of food materials and another uh, opening is called as uh, the ejection that is uh, leaving off uh, the waste uh, materials uh, that is called as uh, the an anus so we will having uh, 
uh, two openings are presenting, uh, then such type of digestive system, uh, if the organism having uh, two openings, so such type of uh, a digestive system we can call as uh, a complete uh, a digestive uh, system. So remaining uh, that will be discussed in the uh, next uh, class.